Hey guys, Apollo from Razer Gaming here, back with part 2 of our Vault's Power Armor tutorial in which I'll show you how to make the actual bits of armor and show you how to make it work and power it. Uh, in the previous tutorial I've showed you how to make very important components which you'll require for this tutorial. Uh, you'll need that to upgrade the power armor to make it do what you actually want it to do. Uh, so let's get on with the tutorial. So first things first, what you'll need to make is a tinker table which is required to uh, upgrade and actually put upgrades on your um, power armor. You can't have the tinker table without the power armor and you can't have the power armor without the tinker, ta without the tinker table so uh, in my opinion it's the first thing you should go for and it's, it's by far the most expensive part to make. So uh, to make one of these, like I said it's very expensive, you require four lapis lazuli blocks, an emerald and four steel plates. Just like it was in the uh, chest, you just place the steel plates are on the sides like so, you've got lapis lazuli there and uh, emerald there and you go, you've got the tinker table. This is what it actually looks like, I quite like the look of that one, there you go, that's the finished product. So in this next station I'll show you how to make the individual parts of the power armor including the uh, power tool. I'll try to get through this as quickly as I can, uh, they are very simple to make so it shouldn't be a problem, uh, just so I can get to the tinker table and um, explaining how that works and how you can uh, apply the upgrades to your power armor which is bit more complicated. So to start off with I'll just make a helmet, steel plates and basic circuits. These uh, power armor bits are very simple to, uh, very cheap to make and quite simple. So just for the helmet just follow that pattern here, steel plates at the top, basic circuits on the sides and you've got power, hem power armor hem helmet. You've got chest piece next, uh, again all you need steel plates and basic circuits just like it was in the chest. Place the steel plates on the bottom, one in the middle, top left and right, and the circuits on the sides, and you've got yourself power armor torso. Next bit, you've got legs. Um, we've got again steel plates and basic circuits, just like it was in chest piece. Plates here and on the top, and basic circuits on the sides here, and you've got power armor legs. The boots, probably the simplest part: steel plates, basic circuits, and just like before place them like so and you've got just a power armor boots and then finally the power tool you've got basic circuits again and steel plates so that's like I said very simple to make very cheap to make as well and here's your power tool so that shows that I'll just show you how to make all the parts for the power armor and now we move on on how to use a tinker table and how to upgrade each piece of your power armor so now that I've shown you how to make each part of the power armor, including the power tool, I'll now show you how to make how to use them in the tinker table. Uh, so if you watched the previous tutorial, I've shown you how to make all the important components which are required to upgrade your uh, power armor. So I'll just have them stashed in the uh, chest here. So you've got the servo motor that I've shown you, glider wings, iron thrusters, solenoids, and you've got the different capacitors, the different voltage ones. Now if you click on the tinker table with any of the power armor parts in your inventory, they'll show up on the side here and I'm going to go through what what they do and how you can upgrade them. So if you click on the helmet for example, you've got the different things that you can upgrade, so you can upgrade whatever ability you can do, so if you can, as you can see on the helmet you've got a water electrolyzer, uh, when you run out of air this module will uh, jolt the water around you, electronizing a small bubble to breathe from, so basically you can breathe underwater for a bit longer. So I'll show you how to upgrade that. So when you click on the individual upgrade it will show you what you require so you only need a low voltage capa capacitor now you can install it and as you can see that's what it uses up um, you can always salvage it back if you don't want that uh, upgrade anymore you can always press the salvage button here and it can give you it back bearing in mind there is a 10% chance to lose a component for each component uh, that you can lose when you t every time you tr attempt to salvage it. That doesn't mean that you'll lose the bit of armor, you only have a chance of losing the components that, that have gone inside. So you've got the different armors, you can um, armor types, so obviously that g gives the suit more armor. You've got the iron plating which is more simple, which is the simplest one. You've got diamond which is stronger, a little bit lighter. And you've got energy shield which is much lighter than the other ones and but it requires electricity to run. Now weight is very important when it comes to the power armor. If you exceed the weight of 25 kilograms it will start weighing you down quite a lot but you can compensate with that with some other upgrades which I'll talk about in a little, bit, a little bit. So as you can see I can install it now, it tells you what I need, four solenoids which I've got ready and here is an important part, most of these things will show you. So you've got a strength of the upgrade, so the more you upgrade it, there you go, 
the more energy it will require per damage it will take per damage um so you need to upgrade and some you need to put some sort of battery in kind of thing so you've got these different batteries that we've shown you you've got the basic battery you've got the advanced battery you've got the elite battery obviously the elite battery will be the heaviest one but carries the most power now each individual piece of armor requires its own battery to run so you can't just for example if I install a battery here the helmet will not be able to use it so each bit of armor will require its, it will require its own battery so I'm going to go ahead and install the elite battery which is the strongest and as you can see it's got the energy storage of 700 kg but it already weighs 2 kg now as I increase this it increases the amount of energy you can store but also increases the weight there you go so I've got the maximum energy uh, storage but also have maximum weight that's already 10 kg um, so if I got that upgraded like so you can also get cosmetics so you can make transparent armor if you have glass the transparent armor is quite good if you want if you're a kind of PvP person if you want to trick your opponent for example and uh, make it look like you don't wear any ar you're not wearing any, ar any armor at all you can put that on and it makes it look like you don't have the armor on when you actually do this is quite a nice thing so when it comes to the torso you've got very similar things you've got the armor again you can make it a bit stronger but you've got different things such as the jetpack the parachute the glider jetpack obviously you can fly around which is quite good uh, parachute slows your descent so you don't take any damage and glider slows your descent but allows you to move forward a bit so you glide forward but you won't take damage when you um, when you glide down again you're gonna have to uh, use batteries for that so let's just put a, uh, a jetpack in you need ion thruster 4 you can install that again you can install you put how much power you want and how much energy can jump can jump so obviously here you control how much what the thrust how strong the thrust is but again how much energy it uses I'm gonna have to install another battery and again I'm gonna try to expand it to the top and again it's another 10 kilograms and you've got on that so that's 20 kilograms already um, the legs here you go there's two good things you've got you've got jump assist which obviously if you've got a uh, if you've got a jetpack you won't need that so we'll go with a sprint assist instead install that and here you go you can set how much there you go so how much energy consumption but you could here you go you, you can choose how fast it will be how much quicker it will make you sprint but also how much uh, energy it uh, consumes and sp there you go. and here we go you can see that sprint energy consume consumption is much higher but again sp uh, sprint speed multiplier is much higher as well so you've got to take these things into consideration again I'm going to install some more just to show you guys how it actually works so now I'm about 30 kilograms I want to show you how that would actually affect me as a uh, as a person if I was to wear this armor so I'm gonna put this on as you can see I'm moving slightly slower than you would before with the extra weight on top now this is uh, that's, not, that's something you need to take into consideration especially if you PvP that you will be a bit slower but you know with the speed upgrade with the sprint upgrade you can compensate for that quite easily as you can see I'm moving much quicker than before I'm gonna go ahead and turn my creative mode off just to show you that the jetpack does work just by holding shift I can fly around and jump around there you go whoa whoa Ouch! Took some damage then, but as you can see, the power suit is quite a quite a nice thing to have. I'm gonna go back to boots. You've got jet boots, which are basically like the jetpack. So if you're already using that, kind of, there's no point really. So I'd go with the shock absorbers personally. Uh, again, you, you wouldn't you'd need wool. The same thing applies to that. Obviously, you need to be careful about what sort of armor you're installing on that, not to weigh yourself down too much. Again, LE battery. You need to install that again. You can choose how much you want it to do. There you go. I'll just put that on. And I am actually quite a bit slower than before, simply because I added that extra weight on. But again, you can, because of the sprint, it doesn't really matter that much. Now the final thing is the the power tool. Uh, this one's got actually cosmetics, so you, you can actually change your armor or that bit of uh, tool in different colors to whatever you want. You can green tin, blue tin, red tin any lapis lazuli or cactus green or rose red so it's just like a you know, nice cosmetic little thing now what you can make the tool do, you can make it better at, at being a pickaxe an axe, so it affects it better at chopping wood better at mining or better 
or, or you can make it a shovel, which obviously makes it better at digging up uh, things, materials like the dirt and sand. Or you can make it like a diamond drill. If you guys use uh, the diamond diamond drill in Tech it, you can tell that it's much much better. So it's probably one of the best upgrades you can get. Again, you're gonna have to put um, another here you go another battery inside it to make it work again. And this one's got a different one, Aqua Affinity, which is quite a useful thing I found. It reduces the speed penalty for using a tool on the on the water. So if you've ever used uh, a mining tool or any tool on the water, you'd know that it takes much much longer. So it's a nice thing to have. You can install it again, but if I equip that, there you go. This shouldn't actually weigh you down too much, but uh, I'm, I'm pretty much I've I think I've pretty much reached the uh, weight penalty. But again, if you've got the sprint, it won't affect you that badly. If you've got jetpack as well, so you can fly around, fly away from danger, not a problem. So that basically shows you guys how to use a tinker table, how to upgrade it how to salvage the components should you ever need them to like I said all you need to do is click on the part that you already have in there you can salvage it bearing in mind like I said before it, there's a 10% chance that you'll lose that component not the piece of armor but the component that you've put in but that pretty much wraps up the tutorial for the power armor I hope that you guys found it useful uh, so again this was this tutorial the power armor tutorial was just uh, as a thank you for you guys subscribing and watching and following our tutorials um, just a little bit skip ahead so we'll get back on track after this tutorial and the next bit we'll just cover some more um, more basic machinery and stuff that you'll find useful around a base uh, one thing I'd like to mention is that I'm a part of a gaming community called Razor Gaming we're recruiting anyone above the age of 16 so if you're looking for a community out there uh, to play with uh, we play various games we play Minecraft we play Armor 2, we play the War Z, we play um, the new game that came, just came out, Warframe. We play everything. Um, so there's, it's a very friendly community. You find, all, you always find people to play with us. We've got people from all over the world. Uh, we've got our own TeamSpeak, we've got our own website. So uh, if you guys want to check it out, I'll leave a link to TeamSpeak so you guys can just you can come on and see if you like it. If you like it, you can always apply at our website, which I also leave the link below. I've got a Facebook, a Twitter, so uh, you guys can follow us if you want. So. Like I said, um, like before in the tutorial and in, in the other videos, rate, comment, and subscribe if you like the video. Uh, post any suggestions you have for us in the comment box below, or you could just send us a private message if you like. Like I said, again, if you want to check us out, enjoy the community, check out the links below. Uh, this is Apollo from Razor Gaming, and I hope you guys have a good day.